If you would, just stand our feet and get into praise and worship. Join in with all those other different bodies all over the world and let, let everything that has breath praise him. Amen. Let his praises be heard.
Church, there's one word that's holding a lot of churches down in America and in the world today, and it's tradition. It's tradition. We've always done it that way. We've always done it that way. That's religion, church. That's not relationship. That's religion. You can religiously do things wrong. We've always done it that way. My dad just had knee replace. well, this one, knee replacement surgery on Wednesday. And uh, he's a great guy, but he's a horrible patient. Because he doesn't listen. And so, like, he's a big guy, and my mom's not very big. So we've made sure since he's had that done that either my brother and I are there to help physically restrain him if we have to like we've given him some set of instructions like you can't move unless one of us helps you well he was on the porch on someday this week and I saw him I was out in their yard and I saw him up going and I went over there and I was like hey whoa time out what's the rules and he said he said something like my kids was, he said well I was just I was like see I'm just doesn't work you can't move unless we're here right and this is what we had to do to their house we just sang this song, Make Room. We had to mix up their living room. We had to take some stuff out. We had to take a church pew and all this other stuff and put it on their porch. And we put a bed in their living room because he's got to work his leg in this deal. Okay? Here's the deal. There was only so much room in their room. So we had to take some stuff out. Some of you are so filled up with tradition, you don't have room for God or a new thing of God or something better. Some of you have been praying for something better, but you won't get rid of something old for something new. There's been times, one time my dad was at, tell stories about my dad was at my house and my dad, has, I'm still waiting for him to throw away the first thing he ever had. And I had like some junk at my house that I had moved to two or three different places we'd lived. Like an old craftsman drill that you couldn't even get a battery to if you wanted one. And if you could find a battery, it would be more than a new drill. So I was throwing some junk away and my dad just shows up like a buzzard, you know. It's like he was circling above. And he starts digging stuff out of the trash can. I'm like, uh-uh. That was the first time in my life I had to physically restrain my dad. I'm like, you are not taking this home. Because wherever you set this is where it'll be 30 years after you're gone. No, we're not doing it. All right? Some of you need to leave the old junk and grab onto the new. His way's better. See, he can see the end, end from the beginning. He, he can see, how much different would your decision making be if you could see what the future holds? He is the future. His way's better. But in order to hold on to that, you got to let go of the old. One more thing, we're going to go. Any of you in this room ever water skied? Every time we water ski, it's like the rednecks have come to town. It's like a jet boat and, a, and an anchor rope or something. The last time I water skied was behind Casey Pitt's bass boat. And our rope was so short, like you were taking, you know, streams from the engines. Like, I don't think that's safe. But here's the deal. Have you ever seen somebody water ski that falls? And they hang on to the rope. And they just plow water. And it's a miserable experience. What's, what, what do you got to do when you crash skiing? What do you got to do to the rope? Let it go. The first line we sang today was, I'm holding on to faith. Now, all of you can choose what you're going to hold on to. You can hold on to strife. You can hold on to pain. You can hold on to loss. Here, here's a big one that people won't let go of. And listen, I'm guilty of that. I don't know how many times in 20 years of marriage my wife has said these words to me. Let it go. Let it go. Bitterness. Ooh. Bitterness is like this. It's like me taking poison and waiting on you to die. You're just holding on to that. And it's hard to hold on to it. Just let it go. If you're going to hold on to something, hold on to faith. Because I'm going to tell you, the only thing that will get you from this side to the other side is your faith. Hold on to that. 
let go of bitterness, pain, regret. Anybody in this room, have you ever done something you regret? Yeah, well, me too. Let it go. Holding on to faith. His way is better. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for God's way. As time goes on and the years pass in my life, I wouldn't take a mansion on a hill if God wasn't in it because I don't want to mess with it because his way is better. Let it go, church. Father God, we thank you. Father God, thank you for the ability. Lord, your word says that we have, everybody say, I have. I have the ability to demolish strongholds. Lord, help us to let go of the strongholds that we've created. Lord, like that person that's holding on to the ski rope, let it go. Let it go. Father God, because I believe, Lord, I believe my whole heart, your way's better. Father God, you've seen the future. You know what's to come. Your word says the footsteps of the righteous are ordered to the Lord. You know which way we should go. Father God, help us to make room for you, Lord. Kick that tradition out, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, we kick, we kick some old ridiculous tradition out because that's the way we've always done it lord we want to hang on to something new from you ushers you come lord we thank you for who you are we thank you father god that we have the ability to demolish strongholds through the spirit of god that's working in us lord that we can let go of some, we can get rid of some junk dad we're not keeping the old drill it doesn't even work and we're going to hang on to something new lord we just thank you for who you are and we love you lord in jesus name amen
was you. Oh, thank 